Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of how to create a calculator program in C Sharp. If you haven't checked out the first part, be sure to do so and then come back to this video. In the previous part we made a calculator that could add, subtract, multiply and divide integers. In this part we'll expand upon these functions to allow our calculator to be much more flexible. Firstly, let's run our program and try some division. So as our first number, let's type 5. For our second number, let's type 10. And then we can enter any key for division. And we'll see it returns 0, which is incorrect, as 10 divided by 5 should actually be 0 0.5. This is because we are using integers to store operands. When both operands are integers, then when we try to divide, integer division occurs, which can only return a whole number. As the result should have been 0 0.5, it truncates the number after the decimal point and runs down to zero. To fix this, all we have to do is change our numbers from integers to floats and also results. And then here, where we use convert up to int 32, we will just type float.pass instead and also the same for num2. So now when you run our program, we can enter five then 10, then any key, and it will say the result is 0 0.5. So great. Now let's focus on another error that can occur when dividing. As our first number, let's enter 10. As our second, let's enter 0. Then we can do any key for division. And here it says the result is infinity, which is not what we want. To fix this, we'll have to ensure our denominator that we are dividing by is not 0. So let's come down to where we have in our else statement and a division takes place and we'll type result equals num2 is equal to zero question mark float dot nan colon num1 divided by num2. So here we are using a ternary operator. So if num2 is equal to zero, we assign result float dot nan and if it isn't, then we continue on with our division as normal. So let's reflect this in our result. So if float dot is nan result, then we will print out cannot divide by zero. And if not, then we'll print out our result as normal. So we can move out the result is into our else clause and then delete it on the outside. So let's try the same thing again. So let's enter 10, 0, division, and it will say cannot divide by 0. And if we try and divide as normal, so 10 divided by 5, and a key, it will say the result is 2, which is correct. Finally, when we run our program, we'll notice if we type uppercase A for addition, then it is not recognised and the program ends up dividing instead. So this is a simple fix and to fix this we come to where we get our answer equals console.readline and on the end we write dot two lower followed by brackets. So again we run a program enter 55 uppercase A and we can see this time it prints out 55 and addition takes place instead of division. So that's the end of the second part of creating a calculator program in C-Sharp. If you have any suggestions for tutorials, please leave a comment below. You can also find the code on my blog post in the description. As always, thank you for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next.